when you move from a single component to a multi-component, multi-phase equilibrium problem, it gets a little dicey. But what you have is you have the criteria in one of the phases, and, it, and then the change in the Gibbs function in the other phase, holding temperature and pressure constant, you can relate that to a chemical potential for that phase, for the component A and then the component B summed. So then you have the change. Okay. For equilibrium, it's the same description of moving out of the liquid phase to the vapor phase. For component A, that has to balance, as well as for component B. So that's these two equations. And then you say that the overall change in the Gibbs function, the sum of the uh, uh, for the both phases, that must be equal to zero at equilibrium. With algebra, you find that the chemical potential for that component in both phases must be equal to the same value, as well as the chemical potential of B, that component lane B in both phases must be equal. So again, a, a good example is, think of vapor, liquid, and maybe A would be water and B would be ammonia. So a water-ammonia mixture, that's two-phase.